Hey everybody, today we are moving on to indexes. An index allows for the quick lookup of a field. However, it takes up more memory and slows insert, update, and remove operations. Use them wisely. Utilizing an index, if you're familiar with data structures and algorithms, we are storing our data as a B tree. If there's a field you search for, but you don't do many updates, I would recommend an index. Here's an example. Let's find any students named Larry. DB dot students dot find find anybody named Larry I'm going to make one adjustment though let's method chain the explain method and pass in this string execution stats that will give me the execution stats of this query I have five documents within my collection we have examined five documents to find Larry we're performing a linear search through our collection. We're examining each document one by one. I only have five documents. That wouldn't take too long. Imagine I have thousands or hundreds of thousands of documents. Well, a linear search is going to take a really long time. We can speed up the lookup process by applying an index. To apply an index to a field, you would type something like this. db dot the name of the collection dot create index. Now, what field would you like to apply an index for? Let's apply an index to our name field. Name, colon. You can arrange the data in your index in ascending order by using one or descending order with negative one. So with a name, one would be alphabetical, starting with A to Z. Let's hit enter. This is the name of our index, name underscore one. Let's perform that query one more time, db.students dot find find anybody named Larry name Larry then we will method chain the explain method pass in the string execution stats let's see what the results are this time we only examined one document examining one document is a lot less time consuming than examining five documents like I said I have a small data set it doesn't appear to make that big of a difference but if you have hundreds of thousands of documents, it's going to save you a lot of time. To get all your indexes, you can use the getIndexes method. db.students.getIndexes. And we have two. There already is an index applied to object ideas. We have that by default. And here's the index we created to look up names quickly. We have two indexes, technically. To drop an index, you'll need the name. Let's copy that db.students.dropindex place the name of the index within the drop index method and our index is dropped let's take a look at our indexes again db.student.getindexes and our index is gone now if you would like to create an index in compass you go to the indexes tab create index select a type or field name Let's create an index for name, select a type. Let's place our name in ascending order. You can select more options, but that's a little advanced for us at this level. Let's begin with the basics. And that's how to create an index in Compass. Then to drop the index, you just press this trash can icon. Type the index name, name underscore one, and that's how to drop an index. So in conclusion, applying an index to a field allows for quick lookup of that field but it takes up more memory and it slows insert, update, and remove operations because you have to update the binary search tree. Use indexes wisely. Personally, I would recommend an index if you're doing a lot of searching, but not a lot of updating. So that's an introduction to indexes in MongoDB.